City Hall, I can't think of a more monumental haunt in any American city. Now, great architecture and ghost stories tend to go together. It's in one of the classic historic styles. It's something that looks like it ought to be spooky. And the ornamentation on the outside of City Hall, sometimes paraphrased as Art Deco, sometimes called eclectic classicism, sometimes called American modernism. I think there's a megalithic overtone to it because you notice how the old stone, standing stones of Europe, they're all rounded at the top. At a great distance, City Hall looks like one of these ancient monuments. We must never forget that the McKinley Monument, the obelisk is right here. But if you stand at the McKinley obelisk in a position that you're looking straight up dead center of the tower, all you do is look to the east and you see another obelisk. The point is, this is a ley line, it is a connector of powerful sacred sites, a straight line. Whoever set this system up was, as the mystics would say, plugged in. As a suicide spot, City Hall reminds me of Niagara Falls. People who go over Niagara Falls, well, let's say in 200 years, there have been survivors. And they've often interviewed the survivors and said, why did you decide to kill yourself? And about half of them say, I didn't. It's like something pulled them to do it. You know, when you jump off of uh, City Hall, you don't really have a plan B, but it does make you wonder if any of them would have said the same thing, like I was just overwhelmed by the power. City Hall, I look at it as a big inspiration battery. It's a place that affects human perception. And like an old church, it was made to encourage imposing experience. Maybe if you uh, spend a little meditative time there, you might see what I'm talking about.